Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. I've got Late For Works Reaper Ranch pretzels to review today. I already reviewed their buttery pretzels. They were delicious. I'm sure these are going to be delicious as well. Before I review these, I just want to wish a couple of friends happy birthdays. Daniel B. in Riverheads, Queensland, Australia. Happy birthday to you. And Kyle J. here in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to anybody who is celebrating a birthday today. Happy unbirthday to the rest of us. And happy Friday. Let's all have a great day today. Let's have a happy Friday today. I'm excited to try these. I was, I, I hesitated. I was gonna not say it, but I am excited to try these. I like snacks. I like, I, I love ranch flavored things. I love late for works products. I'm becoming, I, I'll be honest with you, another thing that I say too often. I wasn't a big fan of pretzels when I was younger. As an adult, I'm really learning to like pretzels. When I was younger, I'd go for the, the tastier bagged snacks, like chips and things like that. Even popcorn, but not so much pretzels. As an ad adult, I'm getting more into pretzels, absolutely. I loved the last ones, actually the buttery pretzel ones. They were gone before I drove home from that review and I was not that far from home, for sure. This time I'm at home, so I'll try to put them away as soon as the video is done. I'm not gonna add any spice to these this time. They are Reaper Ranch, so I think they'll have a little bit of a kick to them. I will, I was just about to open them. I'll read you the ingredients here in, in no particular order. They're not in order of prominence is that the right word I believe so they're just the order that they were listed when they were given to me so pretzel sticks with black pepper mustard powder did I forget to write the rest of those down hold on a second I may have forgot to finish writing my notes yeah I totally did <laughs> okay well now I have to refer to my phone anyways whoopsies turn my ringer down there um, <laughs> that's hilarious I'm glad I noticed that so we have black pepper mustard powder salt tarragon buttermilk powder reaper powder chives and onion yeah I forgot to write down everything from reaper powder and on so that's how I knew there was a problem there <laughs> I almost, yeah, they're there. We're okay. I was gonna read the reread the ingredients again, just to <laughs> say them correctly, but I did say them correctly the second time. That's pretty funny to me. My notes aren't accurate. I'm not smelling ranch seasoning at all. I am smelling pretzels. And I'm, I'm just smelling seasoning. I'm smelling flavors, scents, aromas. Kick the tripod a little bit for you for old time's sake there. It's been a little while. That's what they look like inside the bag. Here's what one of them looks like. It looks like a pretzel. It sure does. Let's try it out. Late for worse, Reaper Ranch pretzel sticks. Keep my shorts. Immediate sting of heat as soon as it hit my tongue. I am getting a slight ranch flavor for sure. Yeah, it's not an overwhelming ranch flavor, but it is there. Ooh. Seems like the more I eat them, the more the ranch flavor comes through. <laughs> that means these aren't gonna last very long because I love ranch flavor. And it's funny, ranch is one of those things that I was never really sure 
what ranch seasoning it was. I'm referring to my message here again. Black pepper, mustard powder, salt, tarragon, buttermilk powder, reaper powder, which is not a ranch thing, chives and onion. That makes sense. It's ranch is kind of like a like a French onion soup, but cold, or like a sour cream and onion dip, or something like that. You know, it almost has that sort of a vibe to it. This definitely nails down that ranch flavor. I do really like that slight burn. We'll call it a burn. It's not a kick or a sting or a tickle. It's a burn. It's a, a super hot burn in small doses. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like these. Yeah, they're, they're still increasing my heat level as I snack on them, which I really like. It's a, a slight burn, but I can keep stacking it up until this bag's empty. <laughs> um, flavor rating on these, I think I would give these an eight and a half out of 10, I think. It's an interesting because they're not, it's not a punch in the face of ranch flavoring, but I don't know if you'd want much more than that. It's a pretzel. It's not it's, it's not a spoonful of ranch dip, right? It's Reaper Ranch. I really like it. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 for a flavor rating. Yeah, because I mean, you could add more flavor and that might increase the flavor intensity. But I really like how it hits with that pretzel flavor and the ranch. And I'm not tasting Reaper. I'm not tasting pepper. Just getting a bit of a burn from it. So yeah, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 on my flavor rating. My heat level? I'm currently at a 2.5 out of 10. Maybe a two. Yeah, maybe a two out of 10, actually. It's a tongue sting, lip sting, upper and lower. Not really in the corners of the mouth, but more just upper and lower. Little bit of a throat sting, but not a lot. Roof of the mouth a little bit. Chest warmth. Yeah, I'm at a two out of 10. If you were at habanero level, Eating a small handful of these might put you to a 4 or a 5 out of 10, maybe. And if you were at jalapeno level, well, it's reaper pepper. This is one of the hotter peppers out there for sure. It'd be hot to you for sure. And immediately, right off the, as soon as you put it in your mouth, you'd, you'd potentially be overwhelmed. You could get yourself up to a 7 out of 10. 8 out of 10 if you were at jalapeno level, I think. You know what? Someone would easily say it's a 10 out of 10. Easily. I'm sure of it. I've had, I know, I've met people, I know people, I admire people, I love people that say that black pepper is spicy to them. So, you know, to, to, to them, this would be a 10 out of 10. I would recommend this to somebody that if you like snacking on pretzels, you want something with a bit of a super hot uh, sting to it. Couldn't think of a word that started with S there. <laughs> um, if you like ranch flavoring, don't expect it to be like overwhelming ranch. It's a, it's a hint of ranch on some pretzels. It's great. A little bit salty, but not overly salty. Less salty than the buttery pretzel ones, I would say, which is it makes sense. I would say that's reasonable. I'm in trouble thinking of words today. 
I would absolutely restock these. And like I said, they are still in stock at the time of recording this video on lateforworkyoutube.com. Head over there, browse their selection, see what they have for sale. They do create, you know, small batches of things. So check out their website, check it regularly. Keep checking it because new stuff comes out all the time. Stuff sells out fairly fast. A lot, a lot of times usually before I can even review it so I'm very happy that I could review something that isn't sold out today that's a nice change of pace here <laughs> I would absolutely restock these these are great I would I like them I would snack on these for sure and I'm going to so I think we should have a little hangout with Maggie she is on her couch I believe and to be honest I'm I don't even know if it's, I don't, I don't even know if I've tidied up out there. It's a little bit of a mess out here, but yeah, that's okay. That's not too bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll come see Maggie. She's here on her couch. Ooh, a little bit of sun. That's nice. Hey, isn't that nice? That's actually pretty bright. I looked right at it. Um, I found out a little feeding, a little feeding hack. I don't like how I worded that actually, but I found a little trick for feeding Maggie her food. If I put her kibble onto her little wooden charcuterie tray thing, it's like, it's like the size of one of these coasters. If I put her kibble onto that, for some reason she eats it. That's the, the tray that I put her treats on with her CBD oil every day. And I just tell her that their kibble is cookies and it seems to be working she scarfs it down it, I think I may have actually told you this I, I think I may have told you this on yesterday's video but that's okay not everybody sees every video <laughs> um, yeah it takes a while to feed her that way because it doesn't hold a lot of kibble but she's getting her dinner she's getting her food that makes me happy hey Maggie you're a good girl she's a good dog we're gonna take her out for a little adventure in a little while actually. A little puppy date. It was supposed to happen yesterday, but it just didn't quite line up, which is totally fine. Things change, things happen, but we are so excited to do that today. A cute little golden retriever male dog. He's like maybe two or three, I'm not too sure. Very cute boy though. Right, Maggie? Yeah. <laughs> We don't get out for um, adventures with other pet owners these days, to be honest. Um, the furnace there. Yeah, we do our adventures around the neighborhood here. Sometimes we go downtown and meet people downtown, but I don't know. Not a lot of going out for adventures with friends with their dogs. Need to do more of that. Anyways. Reaper Ranch pretzels, definitely yes. I like these a lot, these are great. I'm really gonna enjoy hammering these back. <laughs> thank you very much, Jason and Kim. And thank you for providing the information on these. I really appreciate that and I really appreciate everything you do. You're doing a great job with your products and your interactions and I, I know that you posted a video or two, I forget, maybe maybe just one video not too long ago. I forget now. I know I watched it, but it's great to see you easing back to the videos, the challenges, things like that. Love seeing your face on video. You are awesome. Uh, I think that's about it. In this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Late For Work's YouTube channel. Up here, lateforworkyoutube.com, check out their product website, browse their selection, consider placing an order. And up here, a playlist or some content for you to click and enjoy. Hope you have a great day, I love you all very much. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye bye.